two of the four teams tied for first in the Southland Conference standings took the field Friday night in Nacogdoches. The Lumberjacks looked to pitcher Chase Greening to help secure a win against Southeastern Louisiana. Greening picked up where he left off last week against Magnese State, getting three strikeouts and pitching seven scoreless innings. Greening even got in on the defensive action with a diving catch, then got up and threw to second for a 1-6 double play. After a leadoff walk in the bottom of the third, SFA's Hunter Dozier hit a double down the left field line for his 200th career hit, one of only three players at SFA to do so. Villalobos was hit by a pitch to load the bases for Ricardo Sanchez, who knocked in the first run of the game on a fielder's choice. After two singles in the bottom of the fifth by Villalobos in La Mantia, Handel picked up his 15th RBI on the season with a base hit up the middle to put the Lumberjacks ahead 2-0. In the top half of the sixth with one out, the Lions were knocking on the door with runners at first and second, but a ground ball to third resulted in the second double play of the night to get SFA out of the jam. To lead things off in the seventh inning, Hunter Dozier goes yard for his league leading 11th home run this season, putting the Lumberjacks on top three to nothing. But the Jacks weren't done yet. Following Dozier's bomb, Villalobos gets his turn as he gets a double to center field in his next at bat. The Jacks will go on to add one more run in the inning to make it four to nothing. Corey Maltz came in to close it for SFA in the final two innings as the Lumberjacks win game one in the three game series. Combined with the win and losses from around the league, SFA has sole possession of first place in the Southland Conference. The two teams will square off again at two o'clock Saturday afternoon at JC's Field.